All right, y'all, on today's video, we are talking pros and cons of everything Nashville. I'm gonna go pick up Jake, meet up with Jake, and we're just gonna walk around and talk through every pro and con as we can see them here in Nashville. Let's get into it. up y'all it's jesse lynch with the hardest working real estate team in the game welcome to tennessee you can check out our website welcome to tennessee.co as in cowboy but this youtube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in beautiful nashville tennessee and that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city state country maybe even planet like some of y'all probably are y'all feel me the ones who aren't know what i mean i think so anyways, if either of those appeal to you, do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up, and say howdy doody in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Be helpful to the channel, be helpful to other folks who are considering making a move here to Nashville. And as always, if you're thinking about moving here, just do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Go to our website, welcome to Tennessee.co, fill out the comment card there. Comment card? Uh, contact form comment card comment down below contact form on the website or shoot us an email at info at welcome to tennessee.co they lead to the same spot that one leads directly to us so yeah do whatever one you want free country you know right now i'm at centennial park this is an absolutely beautiful municipal park in nashville proper but we're talking pros and cons of living in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm gonna meet up with Jake right after this. But I'm gonna start off with some right down the middle. I don't know, you decide, because it's really gonna depend on <laughs> where you're coming from and what you're used to, but the weather or the climate, right? For one, I would consider this a pro. We have all four seasons here in Nashville. You know, the winter, it's pretty mild. I come from Minnesota, so this winter isn't the most wintry winter, if that makes sense. Uh, but there definitely is a summer, spring, fall, and like a very, very, very mild winter. Um, so, you know, if you're coming from somewhere tropical where it's just hot all the time, or I don't know, Iceland or Greenland where it's cold all the time, uh, then that sort of uh, mixed bag of, you know, all four seasons is gonna appeal to you. I'm a big fan of the four seasons. I love uh, autumn and fall and just, you know, the changing colors and everything. Obviously right now, it's winter. Everything's dead uh, that dies, at least during the fall. Um, but still, it's beautiful. It's probably like 50 degrees out right now, which again, from Minnesota is a piece of cake. But depending on where you are, that's up for you to decide. Also, uh, I guess just, you know, the, there are pretty, pretty drastic changes in temperature. So I'll let you kind of figure this out. How do you feel about this? The winters get cold, but not stupid cold. Minnesota got down below zero all the time. That's very uncomfortable. It is not that cold here, but you know, 40, 30, you know, something like that uh, in the winter, that's cold. And it's also a humid cold. So I will say that 40 degrees here feels colder than 40 degrees in Minnesota felt because of the humidity. It kind of gets you a little deeper, you know, than uh, like the same temperature in a drier climate. And likewise, the humidity in the summer, it's gonna be a little more brutal, you know? It, I will say the humidity in the summer, is one of my least favorite things, about the climate here. Uh, I don't do that well in that extreme heat. And then last little section for the climate uh, pro or con. I think this one's absolutely a con unless it just doesn't affect you at all. But the allergy here, the allergy sort of like force is powerful. Um, if you have seasonal allergies, if like pollen, ragweed, that kind of stuff gets you, whew, yeah, it's a uh, 
it's pretty serious here and you're going to want to make sure that you're taking claritin or zyrtec like right away in the spring um <laughs> maybe even the late summer uh because yeah otherwise you'll regret it I, for me anyways if i take claritin or zyrtec it takes maybe like a day for it to actually kick in um so actually i carry around like afrin but only for emergencies that stuff's addictive so look that up if you didn't know that afrin uh, which is like a nasal spray highly physiologically addictive so be careful with that but for an emergency day if i have to make a video or have to meet with people and i'm just like can't stop sneezing and just like uh, you know allergy nightmare then for sure i just keep that just in case and then i'll usually like okay right claritin or zyrtec every day make sure you're on it take your daily vitamins although that has nothing to do with it. All right, we're gonna pop over, I'm gonna meet up with Jake, and we're just gonna talk through some more pros and cons. All right, y'all, right now we are in front of Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans, because this next section, this next pro for living in Nashville is basically access to entertainment of all sorts. Yeah, there's so much of it. We're, we're in downtown right now. I mean, you got the Titan Stadium right here. You also got the Pred Stadium over that way. Um, but there's just a lot of access to it. I and mean, they're right across the street, right across the Cumberland from each other. So yeah. it's pretty cool. And just all, all right here, one, I guess one drawback is there is no professional uh, basketball team or baseball team. Yeah. Um, so if those are your thing, then yeah, sorry. Sorry <laughs> about it. They don't have that here. Yeah. And also, I mean, we already kind of touched on it, but the music scene, there's just so many venues around here. You got like the listening room, even honky tonk if you want to do some karaoke. <laughs> Yeah, there's, it's crazy how there's shows like at 10 a.m. Like, you know, yeah. you can go to Broadway and there's just like music coming out of every building yeah. at like the all hours of the day. It's kind of And they're all so wild. talented too, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, that, that is also kind of wild. They're actually all good. Yeah. And I'm, I'm actually a huge comedy fan and, and just in general. So beyond comedy, like tours from every tour, it seems like comes through Nashville. It's yeah. a hub. It's a cultural hub. Like, like the big tours come through Nashville. Music, you know, music-wise, nationally, internationally, musicians come here yeah. um, to play. And then comedy also, it's like a stop. You're not gonna get, you know, skipped over. Mm -hmm. uh, and also another thing, some, some markets are so big that it's such a pain to get tickets to things because there's so <laughs> many people fighting for it, but the national market just isn't that big. Yeah. So while you might be dealing with, you know, for musical things, you might be competing with tourists, that could be, you mm -hmm. know, that could make it a little bit tough. But in general, uh, it's a little more accessible and there's tons of that. And, but yeah, specifically comedy. I love comedy, big stand-up comedy fan. Zany's is like a local club, super, super great club, kind of world-renowned, like comedy, comedians from, who are doing theaters speak very fondly about Zany's, yeah. you know, as like, ah, a good place to cut your teeth. So you can see, you know, amazing comedians just like running through a set on a Monday night or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and another thing that a lot of people are surprised by is just how close everything is together. You know, like once you move here, you notice everything's kind of within like 20 minutes of each other, you know, all the attractions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, right? Like you can live uh, in a suburb or on the edge of Nashville and nothing yeah. is gonna be 
like prohibitively far away. Yeah, exactly. I feel like LA or New York, you don't even, like New York, you don't even leave, you live on Long Island, you're like, no, we don't go anywhere <laughs> else. Like everything's yeah. too hard to get to. But that's not the case at all here. And yeah, one of the cons too, uh, with the rapid growth is that the infrastructure is still pretty small. So it hasn't really caught up to the, the population. <laughs> right, and that's like not just, not just the roads, that's like kind of all things. I feel like because of how many people are coming here and moving here because it's a great place to live yeah yeah i feel like they're gonna play work you know catch up for a long time for sure with a lot of the infrastructure here yeah if you live in la or you're from new york you're, i mean the traffic isn't nearly as bad but it's kind of getting to a point where it's getting worse and worse the more people that are moving here so <laughs> yeah and i feel like yeah again if you're from one of those big markets even like a seattle a portland a chicago yeah. it's gonna be a joke almost like yeah. and and but locals are gonna say oh the traffic's so bad because it is getting worse they are yeah. noticing the pinch but if you're coming from basically traffic hell, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel like you're in on a country road almost, yeah. you know, by comparison. For sure. Okay, right now we are in the 12 South neighborhood. Right back there is 12th Avenue South. That's like the just the heart of 12 South, which is like a high-end retail area. There's great yeah. bars and shops and restaurants, coffee shops, all that. Um, and this neighborhood is beautiful. We will have a virtual tour on it for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Interesting uh, diversity in houses in this neighborhood. But I think that sort of balance that's what we're talking. We're talking the balance of living in Nashville when it comes to sort of your cost of living to your lifestyle. Mm. I think that balance is about as good here as it gets anywhere in the country. And yeah, you know, even though we've seen a lot of appreciation, you know, in house prices, it's still relatively affordable compared to other areas. You know, property taxes are low, um, there's no state income tax, so there's a lot of stuff that's going for it. Yeah, he just brushed over the no state income tax. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, the, the property taxes here are in the, you know, one third of probably like the national average. Like yeah. they're, they're very, very low. Um, the economy here is rocking, you know, companies are moving here. Yeah. It just, you know, with that, with that moderate sort of cost of living, median home price is around 425, give or take. Yeah. It depends on when you're watching this too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with that, like that relatively low cost of living, a really strong economy and just that overall balance of cost of living to quality of life is about as good as it gets anywhere. I think it's gonna to continue to get, maybe get better or continue to be a great spot for that for years to come. Yeah, and across all industries too. I mean, Vanderbilt, you know, for the medical field, it's awesome. There's just a lot of opportunities no matter what industry you're in or what you're wanting to be in. Yeah, absolutely agreed. It is a little bit of a Goldilocks uh, zone when you're thinking of, just yeah opportunity versus like sort of risk of coming here yeah. a lot of people you know want to go oh i want to go where like you know the opportunity is and you know some of those places are two or three times more expensive yeah. than here but yeah i think it's a nice way to sort of mitigate risk have a great quality of life and have a lot of opportunity for the future <laughs> Thank you.
All right, friends, this is Paul. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Paul is a very good friend of mine. He's also a member of the team and helps out a ton. So yeah, leave a comment for Paul. Uh, right now we're at Two Rivers Park. Uh, it's a beautiful park, massive uh, chunk of land. It's uh, got a disc golf course, bunch of stuff. Just a beautiful outdoor setting. We thought it was an appropriate spot to talk about the outdoors as they pertain to the pros and cons of living in Nashville. Net overall net positive. Yeah, totally. And let's start in the city. You know, within the limits, there are a lot of great municipal parks. There's lots of outdoor patio seating, plenty of places to ride your bike. Uh, downtown in general is just very walkable. Yeah, know? absolutely. Rentable bikes, rentable scooters, right. great paths, paths along the Cumberland River. Yeah, the patios, the rooftops. Right. Uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, they make it pretty good use of the outdoor space in the city proper. And there's also, I mean, you know, let's see, we're talking in the city golf, right? There's right. a lot of golf, tons of golf courses, uh, both municipal and sort of private clubs. We go to Top Golf. That's about the extent <laughs> that, I, that I play any golf, uh, but. Yeah, it's uh, definitely pretty outdoor friendly as far as that goes. And then as you go further out on the outskirts of Nashville, it gets even probably more uh, impressive or more outdoor friendly. Right, and you got a couple lakes, Old Hickory and Percy Priest, which gives you plenty of opportunity to do your fishing thing, get on the boat, enjoy the water. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, there's there's swimming, there's, you know, jet skiing and, and, and all that stuff. Just largely uh, water-based stuff, obviously, there. Um, and they're cool. They're cool lakes, you right. know. Uh, there's also the Cumberland River, to whatever degree you can sort of use that for recreation. Um, but if nonetheless, though, it is beautiful, right? And, and that's something that I think overall, the landscape here is very beautiful. Right. Rolling hills and, you know, just like a lot of greenery, it's like a lushness here that some of the folks that we're helping are coming from, uh, let's say, less lush areas. Right. You know, yeah. a little more deserty, but this is just, just rich. It's a much richer landscape, right. and that's something that I really, really appreciate. Right. Yeah. I mean, in general, the landscape is very lush out here. Although for some people, it might fall short if you're used to coming from. Uh, being close to the mountains or the ocean. The mountains are close, but not quite day trip close. Yeah, you got the Smoky Mountain National Park. It is beautiful, but it's, you know, three and a half hours away, which, I mean, I'm, I've done a drive like that, you know. <laughs> We've both been touring musicians, but uh, would I want to just go there for a day? No, not really. You right. know, it's more of a, at the least, a weekend trip. And honestly, that's all we can think of for cons as it relates to, you know, the outdoors and the landscape. Is it? It's great, but it might not be as like magical as maybe some people are used to or are hoping for. But all right, we're gonna hop over to the Grand Ole Opry. We're gonna talk a little bit about the culture. We are in front of Grand Ole Opry, legendary venue. I mean, home to uh, so many country artists and stuff that broke here. But we're gonna talk kind of pros and cons uh, as it pertains to the culture here, right? And culturally, you know, it's home to, obviously the music, you know, Can't scene. beat it. it Can't yeah, beat it's, it. you know, world class and, and kind of dominates the culture too, right? right? Like you see, Elvis and Dolly Parton and everywhere, yeah. you know. Everything is like music <laughs> theme. There's always like a guitar on the wall. Or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everywhere. yeah. There's yeah. It's and which I I like, you know. I, yeah, I certainly I mean, yeah. you know certainly don't mind it at all. I, it can get a little uh, like kitschy. Yeah. You know, but I don't really care. You know, yeah. it's I think it's fun. 
Um, and then there's, you know, kind of, it's all country music, largely. Not to say that there isn't great music here that isn't country, but country dominates the natural area, sure. you know, as far as just like an aesthetic goes. I think with that country music thing comes sort of like the country charm. Southern, yeah, southern charm, southern food, southern culture, all of that. Yeah, true. Yeah, and the food, that's I would I would wrap that into the culture. The food here is stupid. Yeah. It is so good. It smells good everywhere you go. Yeah. It smells good like like good barbecue. As it, I'm gonna call that almost a con because it's, <laughs> it smells so good here all the time. Uh, to where yeah, you just like get out of the car at like a gas station, you're like, God, Am what I, is that? I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, super, super good. And and beyond, you know, like the, the stuff that you think of Hattie Bees and and whatever, there's great coffee shops. Great coffee. Like a lot, really. Tons of that. Um, and good breweries, good breweries, distilleries. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, Mexican food everywhere, really good Mexican food. Yeah. We, there's this place called Blanco's off Broadway that we are uh, fans of, to right. say the least. I think one thing that, you know, is maybe a con is that Nashville is growing very, very quickly. I would say that's partly, you know, due to just this influx of people, which may be in, you know, part uh, due to culture, but it's, it's not just that, it's economics and all sorts of things, climate and stuff that is bringing people here. Um, but as, as it grows, there's, uh, I don't know, it's it's a, some degree of like a transplant culture here. And similar to, you know, maybe like a New York or an LA, which I'm not comparing it really to that, but where people come here to sort of, uh, you know, pursue something, um, which I don't really see as a con. I, I kind of like the, the like go-getterness of that, but, uh, and, and it doesn't even come close to what I've you know felt in the likes of LA, you know the sort of like Hollywood delusion, um, but there is maybe a taste of it, yeah. you know, uh, just just slightly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it for the sort of cultural aspects. But all right, that's it for Paul for this video. Leave a comment, say what's up to Paul, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Peace. Next con for me, for Nashville overall, is that it's pretty touristy, especially this downtown area, especially off Broadway, it's where all the honky tonks are. Ah, but really just the downtown, Sobro, those areas are just tourism central. So, you know, on the one hand, it kind of leads to a bunch of like little micro cons. For one, drivers can be a little bit wacky, a little bit hard to read <laughs> because they're not looking, they're looking at, you know, the Country Music Hall of Fame <laughs> or something and they're not paying attention to the road. And it also leads to parking in downtown is very expensive, like lot parking. Uh, maybe not all of it, but literally every time I've ever tried to park in downtown, I'm pretty blown away by how expensive it is. You know, I, the other day I tried to park uh, f to make a video in downtown at a lot, and for a half an hour they're going to try to charge me $35, which is absurd. Maybe they're just trying to not get people who park for 35 minutes, which I guess I can appreciate that, uh, <laughs> like that strategy, but it still was pretty staggering. And then kind of last for me is, is that because it's so touristy, there's amazing real estate, you know, in this downtown area, and so much of it is gobbled up by hotels because, I mean, the economy supports a bunch of hotels in downtown Nashville, so, you know, just selfish. Uh, I kind of wish that those could be condos or, you know, businesses beyond just the tourism industry. You feel me? All right. All right, y'all. This next pro or con, I'm going to say it's right down the middle. I'm going to put it 
kind of just hang it in the ether and let you wrap your head around it. Uh, maybe you see where I am. That's Tennessee State Capitol. That's because this next one is politics. Uh, it, it, I think either, either you're gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. The state of Tennessee, very conservative state, okay? Overall, very conservative state. Davidson County, Nashville proper, liberal, right? And then probably gradient outwards from Davidson County, okay? So I'm just gonna put that out there and then I'm gonna remain abstinent throughout the rest of the conversation and y'all can decide how you feel about that uh, respectively. And for the record, whatever, whatever your flavor, we would love to help you find a home here in the Nashville area, Greater Tennessee. So just get a hold of us if you're thinking about making a move here. It's what we do, relocations, first time home buyers. It's what we do, and it's what we do better than anybody else. This kid's actually pretty good at skateboarding, uh, just for the record. Go to our website, welcome to Tennessee.co, or shoot us an email at info at welcome to Tennessee.co, and we will get back to you and we will absolutely crush it for you. And as always, as you exit the video, please do so safely. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up. Say capital politics something else in the comments. I uh, extra points if you literally type capital politics something else. Thanks. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, say hi to Jake in the comments, would you? For crying out loud. Alright, see you guys. Bye.